Hi, I'm Bella. And I'm Ruby. Welcome to the first monthly broadcast of 2022 through 2023 school year. We have a whole new journalism team this year, and here they are.
Hi, I'm Ethan Worley. And I'm Peyton Klein. And we've hosted a favorite candy vote. Where we gave candy to a select few of 7th and 8th grade students and teachers to decide what candy is superior. Here are the results. Are they the same thing? These are nasty. <laughs> and I'm fat. How does that work? Alright, which one do you like more? The second one or the first one? The Twix on my left hand. Second one's better? I got one better. Mmm. I like Snickers. They taste the exact same. You like a catfish. I like the second one. I like the first one better. Yes. I, I like I like the first one. Mm, I like the sour patch kid better. Okay. Oh, oh the worm. <laughs> this one. <laughs> no, I'm not. I like this one. This one. This one. Give me the second one. I can't believe that the sour trolley worms won over Sour Patch Kids. Snickers versus trolley sour worms. Which candy is better? You decide. Go to the Branson Junior High webpage, click on student surveys, and place your vote. From BGHS News, I'm Payant Klein. And I'm Ethan Worley. Hi, I'm Tula. And I'm Adelaide. And we're from Miss Aguirre's Theater Department. And we're here to talk to you about Suzical the Musical. Our musical, which will be taking place at the Branson High School, November 28th and 29th. The tickets will be $5, and it will be from 7 to 9 p.m. Even before you enter the show, there are clovers you may buy and hold up in the audience. Our cast will slowly come down and interact with you one by one. As you can see, our show is super interactive, so younger kids will love it. So if you have any younger siblings, please bring them and support your peers. Our story revolves around two thinkers from two very different worlds. And more often than not, these thinks are what get them in trouble. Despite our story being based around cartoons and very childish stories, our musical has a very, very deep meaning. And we would love to, for you to come and see what this meaning is to you. And we hope to see you at, at Suzical the Musical! Gentlemen, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, why did the headless horseman get a job? He wanted to get ahead in his career. Why didn't the coffee bean go to the Halloween party? He was grounded. Did you know Journalism has its own webpage? You can find us on the Branson Junior High page under BJH Journalism. There you will find monthly surveys, past videos, and blogs. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> oh, go over a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a spider! <laughs> oh my god, what is that? I saw Millie really Bobby Brown do this or something. Wait, can I like do it from here? I'm just... Oh my, I'm picking it up. <laughs> what do you think it is? It looks like, feels like slime. 
Can I eat it? Um, I would not. Is it edible though? It is edible, yeah. <laughs> oh, is it banana pudding? <laughs> no. No. It tastes good. What do you think it is? Banana pudding. That's a really good guess. It's actually Cool Whip with a fake spider. You can reach your hand in. It won't bite you. <laughs> Probably. Is it glue? It feels like it. Keep feeling it around. Is it paint? It's ketchup. Oh. Okay, so go you can take your blindfold off. <laughs> okay, without looking, go ahead and reach your hand in the top of the box. Don't look though. No, no. Oh! What is that? Um, is that, uh... Oh my god, that feels so weird. Is that like slime or something? Um, sorta. It's applesauce. That's close. <laughs> That's disgusting. Glitter tea. Huh? Ew, that's weird. It's like sticky. Is that like a ball of tape? Yeah, you got it. Good job. You're the first one to get it. Yeah, 
actually not terrible. I feel like this is like, the, like one of those like juices that cleanse your body. <laughs> Witches wear black. So you can't tell which is which. We have a special segment that will appear in every broadcast, Survivor Teacher Edition. Survivor participants will go through challenges and you'll get the chance to vote them off. Now it's time for the first look at Survivor Teacher Edition. This is Survivor Teacher Edition. We are going to be having a competition once a month and we have representatives from each team that will be eliminated once a month. With the final competition being the last day of school with a live competition here at school. And to start us off, we have our former uh, winner of the Survivor competition, Coach Pierce. Coach Pierce, um, Tell me about your experiences being the, the survivor. Oh, it was life changing, I tell you what. Um, you know, I practiced for hours and hours, minutes and minutes. Uh, there were dozens of people who were really into this, and uh, so it was a really big deal, life changing for me. Good, good. Do you have any, uh, any uh, final thoughts? Um, I, I just want to say uh, those that are wanting to actually win this torch, I'm going to tell you. Uh, you need to eat, breathe, sleep, uh, survivor, and uh, really practice to be a champion uh, to earn this tour. It's a really big, big deal. Good luck to you all. We're, uh, we're going to be in here, a uh, candidate from the Explorers team. And Explorers team, what tools do you possess to, uh, do you think you uh, to a survivor? I've watched years of survivor shows. I've got all the tools. I've got size, I've got athleticism, I've got brains, and I've got great reflexes. Can we edit that out, please? <laughs> All right, now here, we're here with the Blackbeard team. Blackbeards, what tools do you possess to win Survivor? Um, I'm significantly younger than everybody, so I'd say that I'm probably like a little faster, maybe a little smarter here. Um, so I think that I'm going to be able to solve the puzzles and do all the challenges a little bit better. Okay, good to know. All right, we're here with the Pirates team. Uh, what alliances are you hoping to make in this competition? Well, alliances, I'm not really sure what that word means. But if you mean, am I going to be kind to everyone? Of course I am. Am I going to encourage everybody? Yes, I am. Because together, survival is necessary with everyone surviving. However, the pirates will dominate. Whatever that might mean, we are going to win it. We're now talking to the Voyagers team. Uh, what do you think of your competition? Uh, competition? It's not exactly fierce. I mean, 
let's just say they're not really W's. I, I just see a bunch of L's out there on God, bro. We now have the Buccaneers team here. Why is winning the uh, Survivor so important to your team? Because the Buccaneers, we're winners, and we're willing to go the extra mile. Thank you. All right, we're here with the captain's team now. Uh, what are you most excited about this competition? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. Where, did you sign up for this? No, I got nominated by my lovely coworkers. Is there any particular competition you're excited about? I mean, getting uh, booted out in the first round, that's, that's pretty hard right there. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? Uh, a, a Grim Reaper. I don't like Halloween, so we're not dressing up. Um, I'm not sure. Um, probably like something scary. Um, a Fortnite llama. Vector. I'm going to be a ghost. Be, um, I'm going to be a potato. Like a brown burnt potato. <laughs> I don't know. What do you do for Halloween? Uh, I go trick or treating and go to parties with friends. I'm gonna stay home and pass out candy in my Roanoke Collis outfit. Uh, either watch a scary movie or go to a haunted house. Eat candy. Um, either going trick or treating or passing out candy. Um, scare little kids. Trick or treat. Uh, I I think I I carve I carve pumpkins. I'm going to steal my children's candy so they don't eat any sugar. Uh, go trick or treating. Go trick or treating. Probably just sit on the couch. I don't know. What is your biggest fear? Um, going on Halloween at night alone. Either snakes or sharks. Clowns. Uh, I have no fears. <laughs> snakes. Crossing bridges that go over water. Uh, my biggest fear is clowns. Welcome to BJHS Journalism's Biggest Thing Yet. They have created a fantastic yearbook for 2022-2023 yet again. It has been even more enthusiasm than any of the yearbooks before. They have created even more pictures to input into this masterpiece, right Jackson? Yes, with this they can show off their yearbooks to their friends and family. They will also be able to sign other yearbooks for enjoyment and keep memories for that year forever. Let's ask some people working on the yearbook right now. It is only $28 and you... For only $7 you can add your own personalization to your yearbook. You can buy your yearbook at jossens.com. Or you can also find it on the BJHS Journalism page. Wait, what are we talking about? Thanks, MJ, for absolutely nothing. <laughs> the new 2022-2023 BJHS yearbook. What's your favorite pick? Ghost panda eat. Bamboo. If money doesn't grow on trees, why do banks have branches? Are we finished here? Are we done? Are we all done? Yep, you're good. That's a wrap? Mm-hmm. All right, gentlemen. Let's roll. Oh no! <laughs> what is that? Oh my.
Yikes! I want to know who I'm looking at. What? I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not to. what you said. I'm right behind you. I swear they're outside. See, there's nobody out here. I swear there's someone. Oh well. I was working in the lab. Late one night, when my eyes beheld an eerie sight, for my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match. From my laboratory in the castle east. To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a jolt from my electrode They did the mash They did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash They did the mash It caught on in a flag They did the mash They did the monster mash The zombies were having fun The party had just begun the guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains. Back about your guys' health. It's really your health. Yeah, they're going at us. Did you, did you expect to place this high? No. no. I yeah, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Do you guys think you're really good? How do you feel about your second person? Uh, pretty good. Were you expecting to place? No, because. Uh, have you guys had anything uh, weird going on in your classrooms? Well, other than the fact that Owen Campos shows up at my door every day. Nothing really. That is weird. But you know what happened to me the other day? I was grading papers and I was just writing down some scores and all of a sudden my pen just flew out of my hand and it started going in circles around my head. I didn't know what to do. I was freaking out. You know, really? weird because I had the lights flickering on and off. I don't know Spooky. what we should do. Weird. I just don't even understand. So weird. I know who we can call Ghostbusters! Hello? Hello? We have a ghost.
looking for something weird And it don't look good So we should split up, right? No, 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 let's stay together, just in case So just stay Guys, did you see that? It's gone! Are you sure? You guys are stupid, it went this way! Guys, I think it's gone. Are you sure this time? Obviously, if you see anywhere around here, it's a ghost. It can disappear. Did you hear that? Was that? I am telling you, there is seriously a ghost in this school. I am terrified. I'm afraid of no ghost. I hear it likes to ghost. I'm afraid of no ghost. Thanks for watching our October broadcast. From VJHS News, I'm Bella. And I'm Ruby.